All right, we're going to start out today uh, sketching the pole zero diagram, giving the S function. Um, so we start by taking out the S on the top, so we can start factoring out. So we take S out, and that breaks down to S squared minus 7S plus 10. And over S squared plus S divided by minus 6. And then we want to factor both top and the bottoms to see if we can cross anything out. If, if we not, if we can't, then we can move on and start plotting right away. So to factor this out, we have S, then we do S minus 5, and then S minus 2. On the bottom, this factors to S plus 3, and S minus 2. As we can see, the S minus 2 and S minus 2 cross each other out, and we're left with the function S times s minus 5 over s plus 3. So we can't simplify that any further, so we're going to move on to plotting our pole zero diagram. Uh, we'll start by plotting the poles, which is on top. So the first one we have to plot is s, which is the simplest one. So that s is just put on 0, 0 right away, no questions. Uh, we move then, we move on to the s minus 5 pole. Uh, since it's s minus 5, we actually go in the positive direction. Uh, so there's no J in this case, so we're still left on the x-axis. So we put a pole right there, and we mark that as 5. Um, to do our poles, we uh, move on to the bottom of the fraction, and since it's S plus 3, we actually go on the minus direction of the x-plane. So we do put an x right here, mark this at minus 3, and that's it. Uh, that's your you know, pole 0 diagram matter in the stability case if if your poles are on the left hand side only then your thing is is stable if they are not if they are on the actual JY axis it's marginally stable so it's unpredictable and if you're on the if you're on the right side of the JY axis then we know it's not stable whatsoever. Like I said in the beginning, holes are the only thing that matters. So as we can see in this, uh, I marked out the right hand side and the JY axis. Um, so we can see here our pole is on the left hand side, so we're saying that this is, this uh, pole zero diagram is stable, therefore the circuit that matches this would be stable in all cases. 